Hey, how's it going? Sports bettors, Matt Modai here with Odds Jam. And in this video, I'm here to give you my favorite college basketball bet for the day. For tonight, I should say. Uh, we don't have quite as good of a slate as we did last night. No Gonzaga versus Texas, nothing like that. But tomorrow, we're going to have some good games on Friday. We still have some good games tonight. But the most important thing, of course, is finding value. It doesn't matter how good the game is just matters how good the bet is, right? Um, but I will say before I get started um, is that we're looking for content creators to kind of do videos similar that similar to the videos that you see me do on this YouTube channel. Um, it's how I started, honestly, with OddsJam. I started working with them part-time doing videos like this. That translated into a full-time role. So if you're interested in doing YouTube videos or TikToks or like a Twitter, anything like that, we're looking for content creators. So hit us up, contact at oddsjam.com. And let's get into it. So the play that I have identified as my favorite play for tonight is this Georgia Tech spread minus 12 and a half. So this is at BetMGM minus 110 odds. I'm going to put a full, well, I would have liked to put a full unit on this one, but BetMGM won't get, will, will only let me get $11.42, which is tough. But for those of you at home, I would recommend putting a full unit on this one. So let's chat about it. Number one. It's positive expected value, right? That's the most important thing out of anything is that it's positive EV. The no big odds that you see in this column here that OddsJam calculates prices this to be at about minus 114. Um, the no big odds pulled from the sharpest sports books in the world using a weighted average, giving heavier weight towards the sharper books. Um, but these aren't like the numbers don't come from just like, oh, we think these are the sharpest sports books. No, OddsJam actually tracked historical data, went back collected millions of data points, uh, historical data, previous betting opportunities to make that determination. Okay, these books historically do the best job. We're going to use them to set the lines moving forward. We're basically using the past to predict the future. It's it's history, right? We're basically just, we're, we're using history here. So all these sharp sports books with the VIG removed price this to be at about minus 114. We can basically call it minus 114. We can get this bet, and we did lock this bet in at BetMGM, at minus 110 odds. So the gap between those two numbers, that is where your positive expected value comes from. It equates to a profit margin of about 1.84%. Pretty good stuff. Um, that's the math behind it. Like this profit margin can basically be viewed as your theoretical, your expected profit margin, I should say. So I would have liked to put $100 on this one, making my profit margin $1.84. Don't let the, no, the, don't let the low numbers Pull you off. Um, there's a couple things to keep in mind there, right? First of all, it's just your expected profit margin. It's just one bet, and it's going to get realized tonight. So instead of like this, the stock market where you make your returns yearly on average, you could literally get this return tonight, and it's only one bet. I don't know. I would, I would, I would um, recommend you on your end think about how many bets that you place a night, what your unit size is, and then you can kind of come to how much money you can make on a, on a given day, given week from positive expected value betting. So that's kind of what the 1.84% means. But that's kind of like the math behind it, right? Every bet that shows up on the positive EV page, it's going to be mathematically profitable. It's going to have a positive profit margin. What I like to do to make, um, to make me more confident in the bets that I'm placing and to make sure that I'm only placing the best of the best, there's a couple things you can do. Now, it doesn't involve leaving the website, which is nice, but... If you open up, if you click into a play, right, it pulls up where every sports book prices odds for this play. Now, for a spread and a total, what I like to do is view the event page in a new tab, which is exactly what I have here. So the bet that we locked in was Georgia Tech minus um, 12 and a half. Let me zoom out just so you can see the whole thing. Georgia Tech minus um, 12 and a half at minus 110 odds. Now, let's break this down and why this is such a good play. Number one, look at where every other book that prices Georgia Tech minus 12 and a half, look at what they price these odds at. Points bet, minus 130. DraftKings, minus 135. Tipico, minus 135. Bet Rivers, minus 118. Pinnacle, minus 128. Bet Rivers is the only one that has it closer to the Georgia Tech, or toward the, excuse me, towards the Bet MGM line. It's still eight cents higher. Every other book, 20 cents higher, 25, 25, 18 cents higher. Every other book has the Georgia the Georgia Tech side as the considerably favorite outcome, right? They're heavily favoring Georgia Tech covering 12 and a half, 
So they're going to make it more expensive to buy. Now let's look at where every other book prices this spread in general. <clears throat> excuse me. Betfred, <clears throat> excuse me, Betfred, minus 13. Caesars, minus 13. DraftKings, minus 13, favoring Georgia Tech at minus 13. WinBet, also at minus 13. Bet Rivers, Bet365, Bet Online. And this one's very important. Bet Online is a sharp, one of the sharp sports books that we use to kind of set odds and see what markets should be priced at. They also have this spread at minus 13, and they favor Georgia Tech at this number. So not only do they think Georgia Tech um, should be a, a bigger favorite than the 12 and a half, but they also think it's more likely that Georgia Tech covers that number. And now we see books that have it priced a full point higher than what we got it at, at 12 and a half, at 13 and a half. Points bet, FanDuel, uh, Tipico, Circa Sports, Fox Bet, and Pinnacle. And then Pinnacle, Sharp Sportsbook, also favors uh, Georgia Tech at this number. So, <laughs> sorry, pardon my dog. So they have Georgia Tech. Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world, has Georgia Tech minus 13, and they have the uh, they have them favored at that number as well, a full point higher. They have Georgia Tech minus 13 at minus 110. They have Pinnacle at minus 107. Awesome, awesome price here. So this is my college basketball bet of the day. Georgia Tech minus 12 and a half, minus 110 at bet MGM. I recommend that you guys tail this one, tail it for a full unit, which is what I would have liked to do if uh, bet MGM would let me. Uh, and that's going to be it for this video. So if you guys are tailing, comment on the video and let me know. Like the video, subscribe to the OddsJam YouTube channel. That stuff helps me out a ton. Um, but that's it. So Hit us up if you would like to work with us, contact at oddsjam.com and have a good one.